do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos students in this video we will discuss question number 15 neat physics paper 2015 students let us solve the question number 15 a wire carrying current i has a shape as shown in the adjoining figure the shape is not shown that i have to draw linear parts of the wire are very long and parallel to x axis while semi circular portion of radius r is lying in y z plane magnetic field at point o is the figure is not shown let me draw the figure suppose this is my x axis this is my y axis and this is my z axis this is x this is y and this is z axis so this is my x axis y axis this is my x axis and this is my z axis now this is the origin and uh, the wire carrying i and the linear parts of the wire are very long and parallel to x axis and this is yz plane this is a uh, like this so in this plane the semi circular portion of semi circular portion is lying so let me draw this uh, figure like this the something like that and uh, this is the portion okay and uh, obviously this distance is same though not drawn properly but this distance is same suppose the current is moving like this in this way and like this this is infinitely long this is a uh, linear portions are parallel to x axis uh, very very long and uh, this is the center a uh, magnetic field at point o this point is o and you have to find the magnetic field at this point this distance is same now the magnetic field at o is due to the contribution from three segment of the wire this one one straight one and this is semi circular and another straight one lying on parallel to x axis lying parallel to x axis these two so i'll say that this is segment 1 this semi circular portion segment 2 and this portion in which the current is uh, going away from the origin that way towards this side it is uh, segment number 3 so all these segments will contribute to the magnetic field at the point o and uh, this is the vector addition and uh, the magnetic field at the center b center is due to b1 that is magnetic field contributed by this part of the wire plus magnetic field b due to the semi circular portion plus magnetic field due to the straight portion this one now this is straight one the point is here now we know that if there is a straight conductor infinitely long and if i want to find a magnetic field at a point here b then uh, because this is infinite the for any any section for any section like this this makes an angle theta 1 and this makes an angle theta 2 for any finite length of the wire carrying current i if it subtends finite angles then uh, the b at that point at this point is given by mu 0 upon 4 pi mu 0 upon 4 pi i by r sin of theta 1 plus sin of theta 2 this is the formula we are going to use so this is the formula for uh, general expression for the magnetic field at the 
point near a straight conductor. If this is infinite long, then uh, this theta will uh, tend to 90. And this theta 2 also will tend to 90 for uh, infinite long wire. Theta 1 and theta 2 both will tend to 90. And this is sine 90, sine 90, 1 plus 1, 2. And the formula will become, so this basically this value becomes 2 and this is uh, 2i by r. In the given situation, the point is here, the wire is here, like this, and uh, the point is here. The point is here, and uh, this side it is very very long, and this side there is no angle. That means this is situation is like theta one is zero, and this uh, goes to infinity. That means theta two is ninety, but theta one is zero. So in this situation, the theta one angle is zero and theta 2 angle it goes to 90 theta 2 is 90 so in this given situation for segment for segment 1 we can write this situation the current is i and uh, if our current is like this then i hold the conductor this side the magnetic field will be up and this side will be down so at this point the magnetic field will be down so it is into the phase and the value of the magnetic field is given by that is b1 due to the first segment the contribution is uh, b1 which is uh, putting these conditions here i'll get mu0 over 4 pi i divided by r one angle is 0 other is 90 so it is sine of 90 plus sine of 0 whichever you can put first this becomes 0 and this becomes 1 and this is the value mu 0 upon 4 by i by r but this is a vector quantity i have to assign a direction to this this side is up and this side is down i know that this is my x axis this is my y axis and this is my z axis z axis is perpendicular up this is the situation i have taken this is the situation I have taken this is my x axis, this is my y axis, and this is my z axis. So, in this part of the conductor, the current is uh, the magnetic field is up and this is down. So, this side is down. Down means in this direction, this is negative z axis. So, it's minus k cap. So, here, therefore, I write minus k cap vector. So, this is uh, in terms of vector. B1 vector is this. Now, we'll move to the similar condition of the second part, uh, third segment, because this is also similar to that. So let us move to the third segment. So for uh, segment three, for the segment three, the situation is, uh, this is the axis and uh, or uh, the wire is like that and the okay let me draw the axis the second portion of the wire goes from here like that the current is moving like this so this is the point so this is the semi-infinite wire condition this is a semi-infinite wire this condition is semi-infinite wire this angle that is this side there is no angle start from here so theta 1 is 0, theta 2 is 90, the same condition and the current direction is this way. If current is in this direction, I hold the conductor in the direction of current, the thumb in the direction of current. This side the magnetic field will be up and this side will be down. So again at this point, so this side it will be down and this side it will be up, up this side and down this side. So again here it will be cross and the value of b will remain the same as before so in this situation this is segment number three therefore b3 i'll write as similar to the value that i opted here that is mu zero upon four pi i by r 
and minus k k vector. Now, B3 is mu 0 0.4 by i by r minus k k and uh, due to the previous segments as we have seen the current is off this side and down this side so here it is again cross so this will add up so the b1 value and the b3 value will add up here and what about the this uh, loop which is uh, vertical in a yz plane now coming back to the this segment b2 we'll see what is the value so let us discuss about the segment 2 segment 2 is basically a semi circular wire semi circular wire which is in the vertical y z plane so current is like this and we have to find the magnetic field at the center of this uh, semicircular loop. In case it would have been a complete loop, it would have been like this. And uh, for a complete loop, for a ring a loop, the current at the magnetic field at the center of the circular coil carrying current is given by B center is given by mu zero open four pi. theta i divided by r r is the radius of the loop means the four pi theta i by r where theta is uh, the angle subtended by the uh, loop this loop will subtend angle 2 pi so this will become 2 pi for a full circle and for a half circle it will be pi so for this circle it will be this angle is the pi so for this situation the b2 contribution will be mu 0 upon 4 pi Theta becomes pi i divided by r. R is this distance. Okay. This is that distance, and uh, this distance is uh, here also. This distance is r. Here also is r, and this distance is also r because that is the radius. It's given that is the semicircular loop has radius r. If this r, this is also r. So this is the magnitude and direction I have to attach. What direction I will attach? If the loop is in uh, y z plane, that means this plane. And uh, this is my x axis, this is my y axis, and this is my z axis. This is my x axis, this is my y axis, this is my z axis. The loop is in this plane. So current is like that. So you can see that if the current is like this then the magnetic field will be in this direction pointing in this direction if this is my x axis this is positive x and this direction will be negative x so minus i cap i have to attach so this is uh, minus i cap after this i will uh, just add all those magnetic fields so at the center is equal to the sum of all the contributions by individual magnetic fields that I've got. Just I have to keep on adding B center magnetic field is B1. B1 is uh, that we have already got B1 and B3 both are the same. B1 and B3 both are same. B1 is uh, mu naught upon 4 pi i by r minus k cap two times that value so I'll just uh, because uh, B1 and B3 are equal so I'll just multiply two to this plus I am having uh, this one that is semicircular loop which is uh, B3 part here oh, which part here semicircular loop that is this part is here this part mu 0 open 4 pi pi i by r minus i cap this one so i have to find add up them if you add it and if you see the options first 
all the options are uh, mu0 i 4 pi r mu0 i 4 pi r mu0 i 4 this format i have to uh, first reduce so i have to take common mu0 i 4 pi r so mu0 i 4 pi r this has to be common so i will not cancel anything mu0 i 4 pi r i will not cancel this because that i take i have to take it out otherwise if we cancel this then it will be it will take more time to bring that to in the given format so it is always advisable to see the options before you solve the uh, to simplify the uh, terms means the i upon 4 pi r because that is what i need because that is there in all the expressions so that i have to take it out A remaining i'll write here if mu0 i 4 pi r mu0 i 4 pi r is left then this is uh, 2 is left here mu0 i 4 pi r 2 and minus k cap and uh, this side it is uh, mu0 i 4 pi r pi is there uh, and minus i cap okay now I can take uh, minus common minus mu zero point four pi r i and this is uh, two k cap plus pi i cap. This way I'm getting. You can see that option number one minus four mu not i four pi r minus mu not i four pi r two k cap pi i cap pi i cap two k cap. So this is the right answer pi i cap to k cap so finally the magnetic field at the center will be this one okay thank you